Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to speak about shell scripting. Shell scripting can be defined as a set of command, which is mainly useful to automate the task. While working on the Oracle database administration part, you might have seen that many times we have a similar kind of work on the daily basis. For example, arm and backups, export import, and there are some script uh, which will check the utilization and backup script also that can be automated because daily we are taking the arm and backup so it is not possible to you know go to the arm and prompt take the backup and save the log file so in order to remove this kind of daily routine work what we can do we can create our own shell script and we can schedule that script with the help of cron tab and this is what we are doing on the daily basis uh, this is what we are doing in the production environment Here we are going to start with our first shell script and I will just demonstrate you how to create the first shell script and What is the minimum of shell? We do have a different kind of shell in the Unix platform. It can be a bash shell or K shell or anything So first of all, we are going to check what is the system shell it is using by default shell here we do have the environment ready in order to check the shell echo dollar zero currently it is using the bash shell and we are going to create our first shell script in order to create the shell script just open the file with the command vi and here we need to provide the name of the shell script and just keeping the name it as test.sh we have opened the file so let me go into the insert mode so that we can write the shell script over here so currently here we are in the insert mode and first start with the shell our shell is available inside slash bin slash sh since we are mentioning here sh it is going to use the system shell and which is a bash shell now because previously only we have checked the system shell and it was bash shell with the command echo dollar zero once it is done just go and since it's a basic shell script command we are just trying to print uh, the message with the command echo echo is basically used to print the message so many times when you're writing the code let's say you are doing some arm and backup and your backup is finished so you need that message to be print over there in order to print that message you can use the echo command and here we are mentioning the message like hi this is first shell script once it is done you just need to save this file so we have saved this file and I am just checking what are the permissions here you can see that test.sh don't have the executive executable permission so if I'm just trying to execute it is showing me that permission denied so here you might have observed that how we can execute the shell script dot slash and the path of the file here currently I'm on the same directory so I'm not mentioning any path if you're if you're uh, shell script is available in different path you need to provide the whole path over there at this point we are getting the error message permission denied so in order to resolve that permission we need to give the executable permission so ch mode 755 we are giving and the file name paste.sh we have given the executable permission just to cross check ls lrt and here you can see it has executable permission now let us try to run the shell script once we have run the shell script we are getting the message which we have put in the echo command hi this is the first shell script this is how we need to create the shell script going forward we are also going to see how to connect to the oracle database by using the shell script and this is how we need to provide the permission to the shell script so that we can run it Thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe like and press the bell icon to get for the further videos thank you